I think in terms of accomplishments, we were looking for uh, development, you know, progress. What do we learn from these games? And uh, what do we learn about ourselves primarily and the systems we're using, the chemistry of the team, and, and learn a little bit about the individuals as well? How do they perform? Um, how well do they stand up to this level of competition? Uh, but I think that we, we probably learned a lot of those things, but uh, we also learned some things that we didn't expect to learn, you know, that this, is, this team has some quality about it and some toughness about it, uh, which you don't really see until you get into the truly competitive environment. So, um, yeah, I, I think it was very good for us. Uh, I said to the players today in practice, you know, you, if you're not learning from your opponents and by, by losing to them, then who are you learning from? And, you know, the response is supposed to be we learn from ourselves by keeping our practices energetic and competitive. So I think we did a good job of that in the bubble, but uh, we also learned, even in winning, we learned from our opponents. The qualifier started in early 2020, but it did not take a lot of time before COVID-19 started canceling events. While Gilas Pilipinas was able to fly for a game in Indonesia, the Philippines hosting versus Thailand was postponed. Then a planned window in Clark was also cancelled before the SBC got another chance to hold the games here. For Baldwin, what makes this achievement even more laudable was that it happened in the time of the pandemic. You know, nobody knew exactly how to react. Nobody could predict what were going to be protocols and the government's reactions and you know, what was going to interfere with our daily lives, and it turned out to be major, major interferences. But it also created these opportunities for us to go into these extended, what we call bubbles, but really they were just, you know, the old camps of yesteryear where you would go and take 10 days together with the team, but ours were extended into two, three, sometimes five weeks. And it's really difficult to be away from loved ones that long and to be away from daily routines, but it's, it's incredibly beneficial in terms of building a team because you become interdependent. You have a lot of time to work through things. I guess the only you know, negative is that you don't get any external influences. You don't have any games against anybody to test what you're doing. But I think all in all, you know, it, was, it was very valuable time uh, for us. And, um, Seemingly, we, we did a pretty good job and we made quite a bit out of it. Uh, there are always things you look back on and think we could have done this better or differently. But I think for the most part, we came out of the bubbles in pretty good shape. For Baldwin, all the work that happened in Calamba Laguna led to a team where bench players were just as good and just as important as the starters. But I think the bigger um, benefit that we got out of the bubbles in terms of wearing our opponents down was, was the development of our bench players. And to call them bench players is a misnomer because, you know, we really just have 12 guys. And um, in varying parts of the game, uh, we have different rosters playing different roles. So um, I think that was a big advantage for us because all of these players in the bubble, it was very egalitarian. It was, you know, nobody's a star at training. Nobody's a star in the bubble. And um, so they really cemented that mentality that we're all in this together and we all have a job to do. And I think that carried over into the game. It remains to be seen because we, we still don't know the exact uh, content of the team. <clears throat> I, I'm sure that many of these players, if not all of them, will carry over into the roster there. But there is still the possibility, uh, and I don't have any updates on anything, but there's still the possibility of PBA players, there's still the possibility of a AJ Edu or a 30 Ravenna or, um, you know, other players being added, uh, Dolph Pinopio. Um, I don't even know if these guys would make the roster if they came into training, but there still are some moving pieces. But going to the Asia Cup, it's going to be about, you know, continuing this process and, and uh, striving to win games, but trying to take as many lessons as we can um, so that we can apply it to teams like we're going to play in this OQT. You know, this is, this is really the level that we want to be at, the Australias, the Serbias, the Frances, the Spains and the U.S the Brazils and the Argentinas. This is the level that we want to be respected at. And every effort that we make is to get us there.